Um, when I was trying to mount them on my wheels, I kind of completely broke the bead. Basically, I done fucked up. I fucked up real good. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna place that tire right here as a reminder, as a constant reminder that I done fucked up. I fucked it up. That was no good. No good. Anyways, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it moving. What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit more maintenance and modification to the FZ09. We're gonna be swapping on two new tires on it. These are the Bridgestone S21, updated version of their S20 tire, which has been very popular. These have been recommended to me by two of my friends already. So I was like, hey, why not try it on the FZ? I've tried Q3s for forever now. Let's give something else a shot. So we're gonna put those on. We're also gonna be putting on a new chain. And if there's time, we're gonna do something a little special at the end. So stick around, let's get into it. So some of you more seasoned Yammy fans might know that I've been changing my own tires for the past like year now. Um, some people think I'm crazy, but one, you can save yourself a lot of money if you just do it yourself. Two, it's kind of a nice activity, honestly. It doesn't take too much effort. And three, you get to buy some new tools and pick up a new skill set. Most everyone knows this, but you always wanna crack that axle nut when the bike is not on a stand because it's actually a lot easier to just go ahead and knock that puppy off without getting it on the stand. Then you crank it up and you adjust the camera to make sure that you're still in frame. You know, the interesting thing is I get a lot of comments on my videos about my hair. Um, and I've seen the analytics on my channel and 97% of my audience is male. I'm not really sure why you guys care so much about my hair, but I can't be bothered to shave it every time I get on camera. So sometimes I look a little scruffy. It is what it is. Get yourself a nice little rubber mallet. Makes getting that axle off real simple. You want to support the weight of the wheel with your foot. Ah, slide that puppy off. Brake caliper is gonna just dangle right there, not a problem. Get this chain off of there, I can't wait to get that thing off. This chain is so fucked. We're gonna get into that too later, but. All right, so what I just did there was actually remove, let's get this focused, there we go. All I did was just take out the valve stem or actually the valve itself from the tire using this valve core removal kit. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is the thing that whenever you push in on your tires uh, allows you to pump it full of air. Using one of these tools, you can just pop one of those out. Easy stuff. So what we're gonna do now is just break the bead of the tire. And again, I highly suggest you go and check out that MC Garage video for a much more in-depth view on how to remove tires. Also keep in mind guys, I've been changing my own tires for about a year now. So the biggest thing that happens with tires is really just your technique, honestly. <laughs> when I first started changing one tire used to take me like, like an hour and a half, it was crazy. But as I got better with the tools and just learning how to use the technique a little more, you can probably change a tire in about 30 minutes now? Next step is gonna be tire lube. All important. You're gonna to wanna to apply this stuff pretty liberally all around the edges of the tire. Some people also use just like Windex and soap and water. That works too. Whatever is your fancy. Hold that pressure. It'll come through. There we go. This is almost off. There we go. Another great technique you can use is if you wait on a hot day and then leave the tire out in the sun, it's gonna get really malleable and really easy to bite and rip off. So yeah, just use that to your advantage if you're able to. Today it's like 50 degrees outside, so it's not really gonna do any good. So Woo! just keep 
keep working it. Just be patient too, take your time. That's something I didn't do a lot of when I first started learning how to take tires off. I'd get really impatient. There we go. Once you have the tire off, this is a really great opportunity to kind of just like clean up your wheel. So I'm gonna clean this wheel, I'm gonna get the new tire suited up, and we're gonna be right back. There we go. Yep, and yep, there we go. There's something my dad used to tell me when he was working on cars or bikes or anything. He was like, take your time. If you start feeling yourself getting angry, take a break, come back to it later with a fresh set of eyes. Because if you're angry, you're probably not doing it right, honestly. Okay, sit rep. I went and I bought these tires today, right? And I was like, hey, I've mounted up a ton of tires in my day. I've done Q3s, I've done all kinds of stuff, right? So these are Bridgestone S21s. They're a little different than the Q3s. They're a little harder compound. Um, when I was trying to mount them on my wheels, I kind of completely broke the bead. Basically, I done fucked up. I fucked up real good. So I had to go back to Cycle Gear where I bought the tires and buy another rear tire and sheepishly ask them to install it for me. Shout out to Jim over at Cycle Gear. Jim doesn't judge, he only heals. <laughs> um, Holy shit, completely fucked this up. God damn, look at this thing. Look at that, look at that bead. Look at that bead. Do you see that? Totally fucked it up. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Come on, cooperate with me, please. So right now I'm removing the first pin on the old chain to break it off. It's being a little difficult, so. We're just gonna keep tugging away at it. Typically, you're supposed to uh, angle grind away the top of the pin and then just push it out, but you can just push out the pin entirely without having to do that. There we go. Old pin is popped off. It's ready to be taken out. Now, we need to take this cover off to get access to the front sprocket. So we're just gonna remove, let's see, lefty this way, that's off. Now we need to take these little guys off. So this is not the first time that I've changed out a chain. I actually did the chain on the Daytona, on Daytona 1.0, not Daytona 2.0, because it's brand new. So not my first go around changing a chain. And there we go. Front sprocket. Get that nasty old chain out of there. This thing is beat up. Fucking dead, dude. Woo, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I'm so fucking exhausted. We got new front and rear tires, a brand new chain, some maintenance, and we plasti dipped the whole thing in black, which I think looks pretty damn cool, honestly. Came out way cooler than I thought it would, and it looks mean as hell now, which I really love. Let me get a close up of this. Looks 
super aggressive, super mean, loving it. And tomorrow we'll go out on a Maiden Moto vlog with it, which should be pretty cool. So thanks again for checking out this video, guys. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe down below, hit like, leave a comment, and do whatever you wanna do. I'm Yami Noob, peace out, see you later.